19 years. Your children, your twins, is one of Sagui Junior. What is going on here? Can someone please talk to me? It's okay. It's okay. Mom. The history of mankind has always been defined by men and women who changed the course of history and in their deed, the course of mankind. Kingdoms rose and empires fell. Continents were born. land of our fathers and their fathers before them with stories of conquests and conquerors. The land of Mansa Musa, Shaka Zulu, Kunta Kinte, King Jaja of Opobo and the land of Oba of Nobaisi of Bini Kingdom. And there was a place which mixes histories of war and love Betrayals and deceit, the home of the bravest warriors ever known in the history of leadership, Benin. Never was a kingdom as majestic as the great Benin Empire. Rich in culture, art and tradition with a godlike king known as the Oba. An empire with replete folklore of tales of womanhood and bravery of the likes of Emota, Eden and Adeswa. Not to mention the guile and bravery of Idia as the first woman who went to war. Her face eternally engraved and preserved for mankind. Such was the glory of this great kingdom who took her salvation to the other. Remember, Oba Ewara's son, the great warrior Oba Ozolua, ascended throne in... And his son, Oba Esigye, established the royal monopoly over trade with Europeans in pepper and ivory in the... 15th century. Clap for yourself. Okay. Time to go home, class. I will see you on Monday and have a blessed weekend. Take care. Bye. Well, I'll not be like you when I graduate from the university. I'll not stitch history. History is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And here it is. I, mean, I want to be a politician. I want to become the first female president of Nigeria. I want my story to be told in history books. Yeah, me too, ma. Good. But you have to remember that dreams without accomplishments can be a nightmare. Yes. So dream good and let your morning be good by sunshine. Okay. I hope you don't mind if me and her visit you for history tutorials tomorrow. I'm going to the village this weekend. Oh. But next weekend is fine. Okay. okay. Great. Thank you, ma. Thank have you. a good weekend. Love you, Love you too. Bye. 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 B
are the queens of the kingdom, the three wives of the Oba. They are called the three virgins of the throne, well respected in the kingdom. They eat and drink in the splendor of royalty. They enjoy every glory like the Oba, but must never have sexual knowledge of any man. And even when the Oba dies, they serve as sacrificial lambs that must cleanse the land. They are buried alive with the Oba to accompany him to his ancestors in the land of silence. They leave for the throne and die with the throne. Edusa is a warlord, a hunter, an elephant slayer and the commander of the Benin army. It is said that men fall like ants when he is on the battlefield. The gods love him and the kingdom adores him. Be sung. The palace is not sure of seeing the coming moon. The pillar of white chalk is about to be broken. The plantain dies, mm. but it's saplings to its place. What are, what are they? What are they? Broad leaves and all. Ah. That is the meaning of tradition. Oh. We too have tradition. Yes. That is what makes us men. Yes. That is what makes us people different from mud. What are they? Why? Mm. Well, the pride of the bee is in the honeycomb. Omo. Omo. The pride of the weaver bird shows you the skillful design of the nest. Yes. And where lies the pride of the monkey? Is it not on the secret of the knowledge on treetops? Yes. The pride of man is in his tradition. And so the plantain dies. Each saplings takes his place. Take the message to the prince. Take my message
Thy will, Father. Of your life. I'm not scared of dying. I'm not scared to watch you bury that life when your dies. It is my fate. A path destiny chose for me. I have never been scared of death, but. Are you alright? Seems to me I have your child growing inside of me. If the palace gets to know of this, the kingdom will have our hairs on a stick. Let's run away. I don't want to lose my child. I want to watch him grow. I want to see girls chasing after him. There is no hiding from the gods. If we run, the kingdom will hunt us till the end. And if we stay, they'll kill us both. Take this chance. Not for me. Not for you. But for our unborn child. Long after that, the palace heard of their escape from the lips of a fisherman, and the dying king in his state ordered his warriors to search the forest and the vassal district to hunt and bring them back alive. You can go from here. Edosa, let's go. We can make it. Let's go. If let's I go. survive, we will meet again. Edosa, no. Let's go. We can make it. No! a man who has won many wars for his king with the swing of his sword are you doing it was said that for all the warlords blessed by the what gods are you doing he is most favored stand down are you Perhaps the gods turned their back on him. The greatest of warriors has been conquered by his own men. And the king had a sosa beheaded in order to appease the gods.
Gracious morning. Gracious morning, child. How are you? I'm fine. The sun overlooks the hills. A perfect time for hunting. Good luck. And thank you for accepting a total stranger into your home. Thank you. I will see you in the evening. Yeah. Let's go inside. She shall be called. On I It is needless asking if it is well when the moon decides to take up in the sky at sunrise. Our house is on fire. Benin has been spiked. Uniyodo, the king of Urega, has spat on our faces by casting the first stone, your majesty. He has massacred the entire town of Umunede and Ekwe. Killed their rulers, even captured men and women as slaves. Even demand that they pay taxes to him alone, not even to this great Benin kingdom. I will never! He has dipped his feet in the waters of perdition and not at the door of the world beyond. He shall join his ancestors in the land of silence. Olia! Your oh, Majesty, send the warriors to bring his head to me. My ancestors shall have the pleasure of sipping pump wine from his skull at nightfall. I suggest. In dealing with this matter, we tread with caution, your majesty. Caution! Caution, you see. If a child decides to hit his hand on a stone because he's hungry, the pain will not pardon him at nightfall. Let us call him to order! How do we tell a pompous peacock not to spread our feathers? He has insulted me! He has insulted my kingdom. If he wants war, war he shall get. Exactly my point, Ukakolo. Polo. It is unheard of, not even the time of your father or your father's fathers, that a vassal state will have the boldness to ransack other vassal states that hold allegiance to this great kingdom Benin. It's a bad precedent, your majesty. If we do not act like the lions that we are, soon any disgruntled person will take it as a point to cover out his own kingdom. Exactly. Your Majesty, where lies the sanctity and pride of the throne of our fathers? Where, Your Majesty? A slave who thinks himself master shall have his head chopped off. Exactly. Prepare for war. We will go to war. I forget my first. We'll send our ministries to confirm where he holds his allegiance. <laughs> a man who is bold to spite your pride 
We hold you. No alliance. I, Chief Oluk Bosere, see no sense in sending their miseries. I say we go to war, Your Majesty. And why, Chief Oluk Bosere? Your Majesty waiting for your command. We shall invade the Riaga and conquer them. Then go! Prepare for war! Love ya! Love ya! Love ya! Request your presence. I have heard. Tell him that I will see him after my meal. He wants you to lead an army to war against the Great Bini. I am not sure my strength can stand the chance of another war. Battles of war are for the young men, not for the aged. This war is not a conflict between two kingdoms, but for the greed of one man. Father, you will not go to war. Soldiers, obey. I taught you to fight and hunt in preparations for times like these. So when I fall, you'll be brave to stand your ground. I want to see Benin fall. Can we win this war? to her land of origin, what her home could not recognize. I am Oba Nagbeka. Area Wano. No one dares me and goes scot free. I am the king of this great kingdom. Mm. Lion with seven hearts. Yes, yes, yes. I am the king as I am born to be. Cut him down. <laughs> and you, I shall make my slave. Father. <laughs> Die well. So she was put in prison for days, with no food and water. On the seventh day, she disappeared. Her escape became a mystery. She was never found dead or alive. Some say the ancestors took her alive. Others say she was an old witch that reincarnated. Now, after days of wandering the forest, Asusa found herself across the border of Bogu, a Yoruba land. A 
years later, the Queen of Benin confessed to the kingdom that she was responsible for Esosa's escape after Amenze appeared to her in a dream to set her child free. And so she was banished from the land. Please, you have a woman, go to her and leave me alone. If you have any thoughts for me, you give me back my peace. I don't have any peace to give you, Azua. If you have a thought of me in your heart, you will give me your love. I have no love to give. Are you all right? This, this um, it seems very familiar, like... It has happened before. Anyway, never mind. I might be imagining things. And that is because we're meant to be together. Well, it's too late. Then what would you have me do? Go back to Europe with your woman. Love only her. Forget everything about me as well, please. No, that is not what you want. But if you insist, I will leave and you will not see me again. I don't get it. I know you love me as much as I love you. Why are you fighting it? Why are you holding back? Just let go. To what end? Infinite. And what about your wife? My husband? Let's fulfill our destiny. The gods will bless them with theirs. That would be unfair to them as well. Look, please, I beg you in the name of God, just stop. Stop looking for me. Stop seeing me. Just. Leave me alone. Please, Azua. Please. I know you love me as much as I love you. Why are you fighting it? Why are you holding back? Just let go. Do you want to talk about it? I'm fine. Then why are your lips so cold? Was that where I'm talking to you? I said I am fine. Are you okay? I'm sorry about last night. I promise to make it up to you when I can. Come on, you cannot be this angry with me just because I refuse to have sex with you in one night. What do you take me for, Ovie? What do you see in me besides sex? Husbands and wives don't just share beds. They share thoughts. They share happy and sad moments. They make selfless sacrifices. What do you even know about me besides the colors of my pants? I am not your prostitute over here. I am your wife, your supposed soulmate. My supposed soulmate. Baba 
Benin welcomes you and I Oba Izua Yekbe Logedo Born a prince and living the life of a king that I am receives you in peace. You are welcome to my kingdom. Thank you very much, Your Royal Majesty. Thank you very much. I am not here alone. I'm here with my beautiful daughter, the pride of my throne. Your Majesty. She's beautiful. A child with royal destiny. Daughter. You are welcome to my kingdom. Come, let's wine. Let us dine. Just a minute, Your Majesty. I am taught, as a child of the throne, never to visit a king without a gift. Rather than receiving a gift from the king, I am taught to give and receive his blessings. Oba tope, Come, let us marry. How are you, Mama? I'm fine. Good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Come here. Oh. Yeah, Mama. My daughter. Can somebody find their soulmate even after marriage? Soulmate? Who has found a soulmate? You or your husband? It's just a question, Mama. I just want to know. Oh, my daughter. I see your heart is drifting away from your marriage. You don't find a soulmate outside your home. If at all you need one, make your husband your soulmate. Oh, I am trying. But my heart beats for another. My marriage is failing. I want it to work, but my heart is far. Your heart is far? Oh, my dear. Go and put your house together. Take to my advice. Don't break it for any reason. Not for the glitters of gold. Or for the glories of a crown of royalty. But Don't. I, I still love him, Mama. Mm. I still do. And your husband? I care about my husband, yes, but... I don't think he's my soulmate. I'm confused, Mama. Oh, It's an abomination. They say every woman has a prize. What is your prize? Love. To what extent of love do you seek? A love greater than that of Romeo and Juliet. Your choice of man? A God-fearing one. Believe 
Christianity. Have you found such a man? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> And I presume in this palace, a royal and a heir to the empire. Something like that. Do you love this man? With the whole of my heart, I do love him. My princess, I must leave you for the hands of this prince to take you around the palace and show you this great kingdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh. This is a um, beautiful view we have here. <laughs> of course, quite an attraction. That's the shaboom. And that's, of course, the pride of the jungle, the lion. <laughs> My father's taking quite a liking to you. What about you? What's that? A shrine? Oh no, a heart, a sacred heart. The oldest in the history of Benin. Whose heart was that? History has it that Amenze, one of the three virgins of Obaitiosa the Great, lived in it. Her story is one this royal house and the kingdom will not forget in a very long time. The chief priest ordered, for reasons best known to him, that the heart be immortalized and um, made sacred. Centuries passed. It's still standing. Wow. I would like to see what the inside of the hut looks like. I've never been in it myself. Let's go. Do what? Father, I request your presence. Take her to the house. This is amazing. I've been in this house since I was a teenager, but never thought of seeing what the inside of this world looks like. These are treasures. Fortunes. Wow. This is truly amazing. You need my camera. Why am I? Oh, no, 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 please. You can take pictures in here. It's not allowed. Why? Tradition has its laws. Just to be. It's just that it's really fascinating because I read all about this in my history books. Are you serious? Yes. That must be Amenze's drawing. Something like that. Can I wipe the dust off this drawing? Sure, you may. Wow, this is beautiful. Where did you get this photo of me? I penciled this with my eyes closed. I have your image in my head. Who are you? I'm just an admirer. What is your name? 
a dosa. Wow. But I don't have any marks on my face. Oh, yes, I know. But the spirit in me directed me to add that. Well, anyways, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It matters to me a lot. I hope you will treasure it. Oh, yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Amazing! This is like a perfect drawing of you. Do you see the resemblance? Yes, I do. Wow. Why are you looking into my eyes like that? What do you hope to achieve? Bring my thoughts? No. I see fears in your eyes. Amazing! This is a perfect drawing of you. Do you see the resemblance? Wow! When you look into my eyes, what do you hope to achieve? Read my thoughts? No. I see fears in your eyes. What troubles you? It is sad to know that this beauty you see will be buried alive when the majesty your father dies. Don't say that, because I won't let that happen. What would you do? Engage a battle with the gods? Or counter the orders of Ozamas and have your father's spirit rejected by the ancestors? I'd rather face the consequences than to watch my heart buried alive. You will choose me over your father. A sacrificial virgin. Oba Etiusa is not my father. He adopted me when my father, his elder brother, died. I'm supposed to be the priest, the heir to the throne, and not a cousin to the priest. Are you okay? Yes. It's just that everything seems so familiar. You, me, this conversation, everything, everything. Well, I have never met you before now. If this seems familiar to you, then it must be a dream. Wait a minute. Your brother seems younger than you are. But your father introduced him as the crowned prince of Benin. Obaizua is not my father. He adopted me when my father died. I was supposed to be the crowned prince and not the prince's cousin. Excuse me. She's elite, royal, and a glamorous woman. Kings we kill for a bride like her. A choice I've made for you, son. No doubt she's beautiful. But you once said to me, facial beauty is not enough reason to fall in love, yet alone marriage. Son, the rainbow does not need more than a shower to graze the sky. I have questioned the morality. And I say to you this day, make her your bride. And then you will make my soul swan with pride like an eagle in the sky. I won't. I will not take my words back, mother. I meant every word I said. I am not spending the night in this palace. Check me into a hotel or take me home tonight. Father, I remember you once said to me that I should be careful of the decisions I make or else they will stare back at me like the spear of an enemy. Even the subtle femme grabs of a lamb mask the devouring claws of a lion. Even at that, Father, it would be wise to know if the lamb feeds from the grass of the field. Even the bravest at heart has two things on their mind before they step out. Pain or fear. Yet they go out there to embrace it. You are a king in Britain. Be brave, son. Yes, Father. 
But even the bravest of men yet fear the choices they make. I have already made my point. Not a knight in this palace. You do not have the rights to choose the bride you want. There is custom and there is tradition. Remember, son? She did not decide to be a prince. Reality planned it, and the gods bestowed it on you. Father, I found my childhood friend, and I have given my heart to her. Then, my son, I will advise you to go back to your childhood friend and take your heart back from her. Bring it back to this palace. If you know you are not going to tell me your reason, then hold your words. Go back to the quarters. I'm in a meeting with the king. I hope you'll be okay. My husband is not a woman bitter. I still want and love you. I still love my husband. I have no more love to give to somebody else. Be careful. I will. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Why did you leave the dance without telling me? I did nothing wrong but dance with a friend. Just like you danced with a friend. Ovie. You carelessly exposed me to ridicule. What are you talking about? Both of you. Both of you got ungodly attention tonight. To my detriment. Are you jealous? 
I consider that question an insult to me. And I consider your distrust degrading to me. You do love him, don't you? What's that way? I'm talking to you. Are you in love with him? So we answer my question, or else I will. Or else what of you? Or else what? I have no answer to give. And you have no right to question my feelings. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but am I right to assume that you're still my wife? Well, the man that I married will not abandon me in a public place at night. And the woman I married will not be lost in passion in the arms of another man. Are you in love with him? on you. Swear to it. No. No, I am not going to swear to it. Have me investigated. Do your findings. I am clean. Traveling. Yes, I'm leaving for Ibadan. I'll be gone for five days. You are traveling, and you did not deem it fit to tell your wife. What? Right. What is wrong with the princess? I do not know, Father. She is frightened by her striking resemblance with Amenza's drawing. It's beautiful. I need your money to her. I want you to follow her every movement and report to me. I'll leave for Lagos tomorrow. But before I leave, I want to show you something. What? Just come with me. Let's go. See something, Osagwe. All 
of the moments we shared here, promises made on this ground. Why have you broken all of that? Why have you kicked the storm in my face? It's all on the same, the same ground that I took your virginity. Eweka, those were childhood dreams and promises. Wake up from it. We are adults now, and I am a married woman. Surely you don't think I would leave my husband and run into your arms? You're a son of the stool, a king in waiting to the royal throne of Benin. Find yourself another woman, not me, because I cannot give you what you want, Eureka. I cannot have sex with you. Neither am I going to leave my husband for you. You loved me, didn't you? Yes, I loved you. But not anymore. I loved you. I love you even more now. You are an honor. You are every woman's desire. But please, find another. Not me. Thank you for making me a stronger man. But let me ask, if you are not married to your husband, would you have married me? Yes, I would have married you. It is strange because, after receiving the drawing, I wanted him to make even more for my friends. But that was the first and last time we saw him. Strange as it may seem, the gods make light of it and say nothing. It is therefore not a bad omen. So what do you make of this? Two things, Your Majesty. I see coincidence. And I see a lineage here. I see a relationship that started many years ago. And I see a man die in battle to protect his pregnant lover. I see no more. It is nothing to trouble your royal mind, your majesty. Lineage stories reoccurs in every home and families from generation to generation. The life we live here on earth has been lived by our ancestors. It is a circle that we live, not remembering who we were in our past world. Reincarnation, your majesty. You have nothing to worry yourself about. Ovie. You cancelled your trip? What time is it? I didn't realize the time. It's okay. Go and um, pack your belongings. I want you out of my house. I want you out of my house tonight. I will not make a case against you. And I will not repeat this. What? Ovie. It's... Um, 
I'm trying very hard to maintain my composure. Trying very hard to be very mature. I beg you. Help me. Please. Don't push me. At least give me a chance to say something. You have absolutely nothing to say! I do have something to say, Ovie. What's that going? You're a liar, a cheat, and a curse unto marriage. I saw you. I saw everything. You can move to the real home. I don't care. I'm stepping out of this house to come back tomorrow morning. If I meet you here, I swear on my mother's grave that I will kill you and I will go to jail. The smile on my face and the song in my heart. I swear on my mother's grave, Ovi. I am not and I have never cheated on you. I swear. I'm looking at the woman I marry. But instead, what I see is the face of a liar. I'm going. By the time I get here tomorrow, please be gone. My husband sent me packing, and it's all because of you. I warned you about this, so I have had to move to my grandmother in the village. I already asked the school for a month leave of absence in order to clear my mind. Please, do not look for me, as that might create further suspicion. I really hope my husband comes back for me. He is my husband, and I still love him. What up, sir? How are you? I'm fine. Um, I am Prince Azua. I'm looking for Pa Ikinzua's compound. Pa uh, Ikinzua? How much? How much? I can give you directions, but only if you can give me a hundred naira first. Hundred naira? Yeah. Okay. Two hundred naira. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, give me directions. Oh God. The world is so confused. Oh. If you can make it at least 1,500 general, I can give you the issue, or I will take you there by myself. Uh, okay, fine. Do you know what? Huh? I'll give you 500 now. Enter the car. The money first. At least 1,000 naira. 1,000 naira is too much now. I don't agree. Okay, I'll, I'll give you 700. Oh God, me no agree. Or oh, 800. I no still agree. Or oh, 900 or no, nothing. I oh, got my last price. Please, 920 naira. Oh God. If you go like this, that's that house on your on your right, the third house, and it has to be that. Oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you? I'm born here, baby. Yes. How may I help you? I'm Prince Azua. What are you doing here? I couldn't sleep after reading your letter. That's why I'm here. My marriage failed not because of you, Azua, but because of trust. 
Without trust, there is no marriage, and he doesn't trust me. Do you think we gave him reasons? Trust has no doubts, Azoa. My family, including my grandma, went to make peace with him and reassure him of their confidence in my fidelity. Do you know what he did? He told them he doesn't want me anymore, and he chased them out of his house. He humiliated my family. Good morning. How was your night? Would have been better if I had you beside me. Too bad you didn't. I brought you some food. I see you're all set to leave for Benin. I love you, Sagwe. It's just that there are boundaries we can't cross. I understand. I will miss you greatly. Osagwe, please. Father panting and pacing like an angry lion. I'm Prince Roy Welcome. I, I don't know. Where were you last night? Father, I'm a grown man, a king in waiting. I should be responsible for that. Does not answer my question. Where were you last night? It's our village. You left the safety and the confines of this palace and you felt it was not necessary for you to inform me forgive me father who is she Musagwe. a royalty no an heir to an empire no then who is she a woman that i'm in love with a commoner and if you will father i'll bring her into the palace and make her worthy she is the one I love. 
and wish to make my wife and no one else. You are a man of noble birth. The custodian of the traditions of the Duke Kingdom. Ajoke is a woman I want for you. Father, great and wise one, you have taught me. Through the course of my learning, I've come to realize that there are two kinds of unions. One put together by parents for money, tradition, and custom. That is a blind union. The other, two people fall in love and get married as soulmates. Father, I do not want a blind union. I want to get married to my soulmate. I would love to see the girl that has the heart of my son in her hands before I give an answer. But in the meanwhile, you will retire to your chambers. I will not leave the safety of this palace. <laughs> I heard it all. Thank you. Good afternoon. Afternoon, my baby. I am looking for one of Saugwe. Saugwe? Saugwe! Come at cause you they find you. It is amazing what a man's heart is drawn to. And who are you? I am Princess Ajoke Adekoya. And I am engaged to Prince Azua. You seem pregnant. I am not in the league of women who fight and spill blood over men. But do not set a field to flame. Because even you could be consumed. Use your head. Good luck. Ejalo. Leave us. How did you find her? I told you that I would do my findings. You have no right to threaten her. So the wretch told you and soon you hasten here, like a servant would do for a master. You have no pride, do you? You may see her as a wretch, but I have honored her. And soon I will clothe her in royalty and pride. A married woman. Azua, are you out of your mind? Hajoke. I love her. I really do. How dare you? How dare you? After taking my pride, you stand before me talking about loving another woman. What has come over you?
Et ma Father, here she is. Osagwe, my father. Obaizua, Lord and King of Benin. Your Highness. She's glamorous. So this is the woman that stole the heart of the crown prince of Benin. Woman, can you keep this heart? As long as there is a heart, your highness, I will. Oh, Sarogui, how is your husband of ye? Oba, He said, this woman, He's married to my cousin's second son, Ovie. She was sent back in because she was unfaithful. He caught her sleeping with another man. And he sent her back in. Though separated, but not yet divorced. Is this true? No, father, it is not. I am not talking to you. Woman, you will give an answer to my question. Is this true? <laughs> it is true, your highness. Ah. But I was wrongly accused. Yes, father, she was wrongly accused. Son, you will shut up! You want to desecrate your inheritance? Your culture? Your tradition? And put royalty to scum? And you filthy rock. You will leave this palace and never turn back. Else I will have your head on a stick. Out! No, I not Father, I have never disobeyed you. But this time I choose to follow my heart. Stand out! And you will not banter what you need! Never! Abasa Father, O oh great and wise one, I appeal to your judgment. Please, if you will grant me just this one wish. Never! Son, this jungle fever of yours could put this kingdom into jeopardy. I think sexual knowledge with another man's wife is forbidden to the throne. So is aborting an heir. I'm a king in waiting, father. So is my first child. So, what have you done? She is carrying my baby. Uh, what? Tell me this is not true. And if it's this, the gods will curse you. My throne! You don't. You will lose all your inheritance.
Why have you decided to bring shame to my family? Ajuke. I do not have the heart to love anyone else. Neither will I take yours. You lie. Not after taking my virginity and pride. Our union was father's dream. Wake up from it. My heart is for someone else. And she's carrying my child. Did I wrong you? Oh, no, no. Far from it. You're a virtuous woman. I still love you. Wish I could say the same. See, I took it. There's no need flogging a dead horse. I love someone else. You have kicked the storm against me. Why? Why? Stay away from me. This is headed nowhere, and you know it. Come on. True love triumphs. Avoiding it is fruitless. Please, Ewaka, don't talk to me about true love. This is a war that we cannot win. You are royalty. You are governed by the traditions and customs of the throne. You do not have a mind of your own. I don't know what I was thinking when I slept with you. God, I'm so stupid. Please, go back to your throne and leave me alone. Please, Ewaka. Musagwe, my throne is in your heart. You're all that I am and wish to be. No, Father. I just refuse to allow the splendor of the throne be clouded the, the desires of my heart. The desires of your heart? Yes, Father. My heart beats for her. I want to make her my wife. Are you drunk? Far from it, Father. Cursed be my life if I make light of that which I say. She's pregnant with my child. Ah, wow. Okay. 
And I have come for you to give your blessings. I pray thee, Father. Swa. Wake up. Stop the jesting of a clown. It is not funny. Why do you want to bring generational curse on you? I wash my hands. But I do not see it as foolishness, Father. It is not foolishness to say my lover is pregnant and that I am responsible. A woman with a bright prize on her head. Huh? Pregnant for the crown prince. Mm. Of Idu. Father, she loves me and I love her. And we will return his bright prize. This decision of yours? You're far, far away from my presence and from this palace. Oh. You will have no inheritance in this place. Father. Your Highness. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Father, you will not call me father again. You cease to be my son. Shall we never step your foot into this palace again? You. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You have lost what your inheritance is. Shall we leave this instant? What are you doing there? Hazua, I just think this is too much of a sacrifice to make for me. Please. Listen to your father and make peace. I am not worth the trouble. You cannot possibly give up everything for my sake. Please, Hazua. He's getting to the car. It's a little late for that now. When I swore to love you, I did not know you would come to this. And now you have given up everything for me. I just hope that one day, your anger doesn't turn you against me and you end up blaming me for all that you've lost. So, my love for you is not a game. Do you think I am worth the trouble? Even now. My love for you is stronger. My heart still beats for you. 
My soul clings to you. My flesh is tied to you. My destiny is yours. After a few weeks in a guest house, Azua bought a house in the central part of Lagos, Suruleri. You're going to make me a very proud father. Two months from now, you know. Can't wait to see all the girls chasing after him. <laughs> so, what are you going to name him? Hmm. I'll name him after my father, Izua. You miss him, don't you? Yeah, I do miss him. handle everything by myself. Be very alert. Okay. All right, boss. No problem. that you're pregnant in less than one year after separation you're already pregnant and living in the home of another man you chased me away Ovie. you embarrassed my family you never wanted me for a wife you were only interested in me for sex how did you even find this place and what do you want I've come to claim what is rightfully mine I don't belong to you anymore. As you can see, I'm pregnant. If that's what I'm talking about, I'm here for my child. <laughs> what? This child is not yours. What's that way? I'm not here to battle with you. Nor am I here to fight you. I'm only here because of my child. I'm going to take you from here and you will follow me. When you have this baby, when you have my child, you can do as you wish at that time. That is your prerogative. But I will not be a lamb and let my child bear the name for another man. Nor will I be alive and let my child be raised by another man because of your silly quest for royalty. It will not happen. I will fight it with every drop of blood that I have. You will not come to my husband's house and threaten me, Ovie. You have embarrassed me enough. What more do you want? What? My child. It is not your child! My cousins are outside and they respect me a lot. There's no need to raise your voice. They respect me. I'm standing here before you and I respect myself. Osagwe, Osagwe, please respect yourself and come with me, please. Mimi, yes, me. Look, you will just eat. Are you? 
And so they called the police and Azor took responsibility and claimed to have committed the crime. So I don't spend my pregnant days in jail. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison with hard labor for a crime I committed. What a test and proof of his love for me. Why are you just telling me now? She disappoint me, mom. Young man, do not talk to your mother in such tone. Izuwa, your mother and I didn't want uh, you kids to go through the trauma of the fact that your father was serving J-Towns for mother. It is true that you are not my biological son, but I love you like a son. And who are you? He's my husband. Your husband. You didn't tell me you remarried. I know, Azua. I know I did not tell you I remarried. And there are so many things I did not tell you. I was waiting for a perfect time so that we can talk. I know that the things I'm about to tell you may go against my Christian beliefs, but I have facts to affirm the mystery of our love. And my husband, my husband will attest to the fact that though I share a bed with him, you're the one I'm in love with. Yet you gave in and bear his name. Yes, I did. I did because I needed to support our children, Azua. I needed to give them a good life, a life I could not afford. He cares for them and treats them like his kids. And even if I had waited for you to come out of jail, I still wouldn't have married you because it would have meant your death, Azua. What death do you speak of? Believe it or not, this, this, this love and life that you and I share is a love and life that, that our ancestors, people who reincarnated from, shared many years ago. So many events that may have occurred in the past kept flashing through my mind and I could never make sense or understand them. Then, with a troubled mind, I decided to search for answers. The life and love that you both shared today is a life lived many years before the birth of your father and the fathers before them. You betray me, Adesua. My best friend, Adesua. I will never forgive you. You are a witness that is betrayed on me. Oh, I curse you, Sadono and Adesua. May our union be filled with betrayal. From generation to generation, whenever you get together, death or deadly death shall be your portion. Oh. He died in prison for you long ago, and he will die for you again in jail. If you do not break the bond that is between you both, he reincarnated into a royal home as a prince and a king in waiting for the untimely death of his father. He made him a cousin to the prince and a warlord to the kingdom. It seems to me I have your child growing inside of me. Agua!
and helping me regain my freedom. I'll forever be indebted to you. I'm grateful. How are your children? They are presently in the UK. Twin girls. And your husband? He passed. Oh, yeah,